here's your MCTV Anchor Team. Special hello to Mr. Herto, who we know is watching from home. We'd also like to tease the Global Environmental Science Department today, as they stole half of our media crew for their field trip. Wish us luck. Today is Wednesday, October 17th, and day three of the six-day cycle. Please join us in Raz for the national anthem and the pledge to our flag. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't forget that the canned food drive is currently underway. Miss Williams' first period class is in the lead for the free breakfast being supplied by the United States Army. For the next nine days, the school store is doing a water bottle and school supplies bundle pack for the end of the marking period. It includes a husky water bottle, three pens, three wooden pencils, two mechanical pencils, two mini highlighters, one lead refill pack, and a lanyard. All that for only $5. Get yours before October 25th to ensure that you're prepared for the next marking period. Are you attending a post-secondary school or program next year? Have you thought about how you're going to pay for your continued education? Come to MCHS today at 7 p.m. to fill out your FAFSA online form, which will help you for your local financial representative. You have to sign up ahead of time to ensure that enough computers are available. Registration can be done in the guidance office. Yearbooks are still available at a base cost of $55 and personalization is free. However, icons are now $350 each. If you have an order form that is outdated, you can get an updated form in the main office, Ms. Klein's room A207 or Mrs. Ryden's room A322. The Spirit Club trivia question of the week is, who is the writer of the senior show? Place your answers in the Spirit Club box outside of the school store before Thursday afternoon for your chance to win food from the Husky Club. Have you ever wondered what Mr. Carter would look like with a beard? How about Mr. Bub? Well, now is your chance to see. Vote for the teacher you want to keep up with No Shave November and benefit the United Way. Voting takes place in the cafeteria. Donate now. The yearbook is looking for pictures from the homecoming dance. If you have any that you're willing to share, please see Ms. Klein in room A207 or me email her through her school account. The Horatio Alger Association has released its 2018 scholarship application. If you are intending on pursuing a bachelor's degree at an accredited institution, are involved in community service and extracurricular activities, and have a GPA of 2.0 or higher, you are eligible to apply. Multiple scholarships will be awarded to Pennsylvania seniors. Online applications are available at www.horatioalger.org backslash scholarships and are due by October 25th. For additional information, please stop by the guidance office. This week we're having a penny drive in the first periods. The money will benefit the American Cancer Society and the three classes that raise the most money will win a free breakfast. Attention students who participated in the yearbook fundraiser. Your order can be picked up at the end of the day today in the auditorium either seventh period or after school before 3.30. Please make arrangements for pickup, especially if you have a large order and ride a bus home. Sophomores are reminded that 10th grade hoagie orders are due today. Please place your orders in Mrs. Shearer and Mrs. Esch's mailbox. Make sure your orders are paid in full and in an envelope with your name and the name of your English teacher. Now here's Grace with sports. Yesterday in MC Sports, our boys and girls cross country teams won their meet. Chase McNair and Joy Galbraith came in first place for our Huskies. Braden Harris came in second for our guys and Lauren Kirkendall came in third for our girls. Our girls' soccer team lost to Redland with a final score of 0-1. to one. There will be a winter sports meeting for anyone in grades 7 through 12 interested in winter athletics. The meeting will be on October 23rd in the MCHS Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. 
Students, parents, and guardians should attend. Meetings with coaches will take place following the general information meeting. Today in MC Sports, girls soccer is at home hosting Juniata and guest dismissed at 2.15. Field hockey hosts Carlisle at home today and guest dismissed at 2.45. Volleyball is at home today hosting State College. That's all for sports. Kenzie, what's for lunch? In the Husky line, ravioli and sauce, breadstick, Caesar salad, and milk. And in the griller, cheeseburger or grilled chicken sandwich. We have one final announcement from the athletic department. Any females interested in lacrosse should stop by the main office and sign the sheet. This is to gauge interest in female lacrosse. The deadline is October 23rd at the end of the day. That's all for today. She's Kenzie. And he's Lincoln. Have a great day. Have a husky day.